Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. Apologies for my absence yesterday. I've had a bit of a bug. I've been feeling a bit under the weather. I think literally under the weather at some level because I have been deeply disturbed by the weather events in the southeast of the United States, Hurricane Helene and now Hurricane Milton. And there is another one waiting in the wings apparently. And so if you've been affected by any of these events, I'm sending you lots of lots of love and lots of light. Strange times on this planet. Anyway, we are with Harry and Meghan today. Well, Harry in this reading, not Meghan. I have the Lunar Soul Tarot on the tarot table for this one. I'm doing a quick check-in with Harry. He was very, very busy around his birthday and the week following his birthday. And we last saw him in Southern Africa. In fact, South Africa, I think, last seen. Extended his trip for secret reasons we're not allowed to know and hasn't been heard of since. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's up with him, how he is who he's hanging out with, where he's hanging out, his feelings about going home and what this top secret business is that we're not allowed to know about. That's where we're starting today. And the cards are already flying off the table and landing on the floor. And uh, Six of Swords, the getaway card, one of the getaway cards in the tarot, overseas travel. Some interesting things happened around the time that Harry was se celebrating his birthday and in New York and then in the UK and then in Southern Africa. Interesting arrest. So just saying uh, that might play into this. I don't know. I'm keeping my eye on that and uh, those events which are stirring up a lot of stuff. Anyway, we're just checking. We're just doing an energy reading and let's remind you, I think we've got the energy for this. Yeah, we do. Uh, that this is just tarot and it's uh, for fun and entertainment. It's all my opinion. It's all speculation. Just read energy here and of course, disclaimer in the box below. This is a Where's Harry reading. Nothing more sinister than that. We want to know how he is. We want to know where he is. We want to know his feelings about going home to his darling wife and his two children, especially the daughter with the long, long hair. And um, hmm, what's his secret about what he's doing? I've got the magician, okay. Manifesting, spinning. This is the new PR uh, deal that's going on with Harry. And this is the all new Harry rebranding re himself, pivoting away from the celebrity lifestyle, the Hollywood thing. Uh, quite timelessly, you might say, given all that is going on over there in that cesspit. And uh, turning himself into humanitarian works, the statesman that he believes that he is, the spin is going full blast at the moment. I'm getting a whirlwind of spin with that magician card. Okay, so we know what zone we're in now, um, the spin cycle, and let's see what our actual story is about today. The Where's Harry? Where's Harry? Got the eight of ones, it's more spin. This is the, the busy busy sending out the message that he's open for business, not that kind of business. No, um, steer your minds away from that and bring them back to the business of being a humanitarian and a statesman. And um, the eight of wands is that messaging that's going out fast and furious. Multiple events every day until he suddenly went quiet here in Southern Africa. And... Um, I had a mental vision of uh, crocodiles and lions and elephants and trampling. That's just uh, my own personal sourness today <laughs> coming through. Um, never mind that. That was just a momentary lapse. I don't wish harm on anyone. Not when I'm doing these readings. Um, so... Eight of Wands messaging going up fast and furious. Busy, busy, busy. He's been let off the leash. He's been allowed out by himself to go and propagate this message of his own marvelousness, prove to the royals he's allowed back and he's brilliant and he's the best thing that they ever had. Uh, so how is he, his mood? Uh, nine of discs in reverse. He's struggling on his own. We saw that in New York. He looked awkward, sheepish, and un un uneasy, nervous. 
uh, where was the claw to guide him around and tell him what to do and barge in front of him. Uh, he seemed a bit hapless and helpless without it. So the nine of discs in reverse is someone who's not thriving on their own. Interesting that uh, he has been so used to being told what to do and bossed around. Um, I'm sure that his handlers in the royal family did all of that for him as well, but more subtly. Uh, so first time that he's out on his own, it's given me a bit of a vibe of sending your child off for something uh, not even university that's too old but you know sending them away for a sleepover or something their first time and wondering how that's going to go on uh it's that kind of energy of sending a child away and um are they going to cope that's energy that i'm getting from that nine of discs in reverse lonely uh, incapable of managing his own affairs properly and quite longing oddly for the comforts of the claw that's my opinion let's see where is he and uh, we might say who's he with I got the knight of swords in reverse not the energy I was expecting the Knight of Swords, I was expecting Knight of Wands kind of energy, but the Knight of Swords has shown up here. The Knight of Swords is a strategy card, intelligence, wit, wisdom. He might be holed up somewhere with advisors. It's in reverse, so it's giving me secret energy. And we are reading um, that some, uh, we are hearing that some of the um, activities that he's going to be getting up to on this time away from the claw are indeed secret. So that's why that card is in reverse for me. I think he's strategizing, he's planning, and he might have some quite trusted advisors around and about that he's consulting quietly secretly for their op opinion their advice how to get him back on track we've got the spin cards here we've got the news the communications the messaging the big 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 spin this card is hanging around above the spin card here the magician i think he's talking to people trusted people he has got uh, He's always got people who are surrogate parents. Interesting that surrogacy should loom so large in his own life in terms of his own parenting, don't you think? Uh, but he's got those, those people, I think, they're in Botswana. He has got family in South Africa, I think, in Cape Town. He might be talking to other people. It's also giving me a bit of a flight, a flight with an L energy, the Knight of Swords, because the Knight of Swords is swift action and swift responses to things rescuing kind of energy strategizing kind of energy there might be some of that going on uh, for whatever reason we can only speculate what the reason might be but this isn't someone who's hanging out with friends or hanging out with um, a secret love or having a lovely relaxed holiday and one of the reasons why I chose this particular tarot deck, the Lunar Soul Tarot, is that it has cards in it that would indicate that he might be at some lovely glamping sort of camp in Botswana or wherever and um, having a lovely time. Don't think so with that card, interestingly. So this is not a happy energy nine of discs in reverse and nor is this knight of swords in reverse. How does he feel about going home? Now we got the page of swords in reverse again doesn't feel comfortable about it as uh, the braced and ready card the page of swords being prepared for something doing your research doing your due diligence uh, preparing your documents doing stuff like that if you've got a court case or anything like that going on it's in reverse very anxious afraid of being criticized he might feel that if he goes home he's going to get a telling off for something not handling himself properly the, the knuckle cracking and the weird facial uh, ticks uh, in new york that were very obvious some strange body language uh, all over the place moments of looking really glum including in lesotho when they were sitting around the fire at night chewing the fat and he didn't look happy at all so i think he's worried about going home the reception he's going to get when he does get back being told off um, 
and put in his place and you idiots and why didn't you listen to me and all that kind of thing, worried about it. I think he's afraid of going home. He could be afraid of going home for multiple reasons, not only to do with what is going on in Montecito. Let me just say that. So what's the top secret stuff? I did have a mental flash when I was doing a reading the other day that he might just um, head over to Australia while he's going round the globe. Um, what is going on that we aren't supposed to know about? I've got the King of Swords. Now the King of Swords is all of this. We've got the Knight of Swords, we've got the Page of Swords, now we've got the King of Swords. It's very similar to the Magician energy because it's planning. It's somebody who's very strategic, very shrewd, top of their game when it comes to things like law, um, advice, investment, um, all that kind of stuff. But I, I think really good advice. Um, and this is done in secret. We're in there. What's, what is he doing that's so top secret? Plans are afoot, and I would say plans are afoot to reconnect him with the king, quite literally. Um, we hear that he loves his life in California, doesn't want to move back to Britain permanently, but would like the old half in, half out thing that he was promised. And I think that those kinds of strategies are being thought through. And because it's king energy and the king king does have king of swords energy because his official birthday is in june so it's gemini energy air sign energy that's coming through here i think that he's sitting with these advisors and he's figuring out what to do they might be messaging um, uh, through back channels from clarence house to him do this do that stop doing this uh, listen to that person uh, show up here, meet there, whatever. This is behind closed doors. It's also, so that's royal family business. It's also a big lawyer card and not the big hair guy that's in charge of all the media cases in London. Not that kind of lawyer. This to me is another kind of lawyer. This card, the King of Swords, has to do, one of the many things it has to do with, apart from doctors and surgeons and things like that, has to do with um, big, big people in the military, in the police, in law. And there might be some of that going on as well, strategizing how to figure this out. When I did read on that particular arena a while ago, I saw that he was very, very, very worried. I think it was the infamous reading where I got two Ten of Swords from the same tarot deck, which I had never before realized about that particular tarot deck, unless I was completely deluded as possible. Um, but I saw that he was going to get pivoted to a new direction and be okay. This card is speaking to that at some level as well. So there's quite a weird energy going on here. He's not happy. There is not one card in this that tells me that he's happy. I'm getting a whole lot of messaging and spinning. The messaging is to us, but I think it's also to the royal family. And it might be a bit of an SOS rescue me energy with this Knight of Swords in reverse and this King of Swords showing up in the top secret um, position in this reading. Thoughts about going home, dread. Page of Swords in reverse. That's the reading. That's the way. Where's Harry reading? We're going to get a bit darker in the next one about who might be influencing him at home and how and why.